A popular, albeit surprisingly divisive issue, scooters are taking center stage at San Diego's city council meeting. Now, some people love the eco-friendly way to get around, but others say there need to be more rules to keep everyone safe. Well, the city of San Diego is looking to crack down on scooter companies as a way to try and keep things organized. CBS 8's Brian White is working for you on this story. He's breaking down a new proposal, making its way through the approval process. The new rules being proposed for scooters and other rideshare devices have a lot of momentum right now, and they would completely change the way scooter companies operate in San Diego. And I think finally we have a set of proposed regulations and an approach that will be an improvement. Optimism surrounding a new set of rules being considered by the city. And I am a yes as well, so that passes unanimously. The city's Active Transportation and Infrastructure Committee approved the comprehensive proposal last Wednesday. The next stop will be full city council. So what's in these new rules? First off, they'd be switching to a new system. The old one allowed any rideshare company to operate if they paid for a permit. The new system would only allow a select few companies to have exclusive operating agreements with the city. It would also place a cap on the total number of scooters allowed. We'll have no more than 8,000 scooters deployed at any given time and no more than four operators. According to the city's own data, about six to 7,000 rideshare devices are deployed across the city on any given day, falling within that cap of 8,000. But the new rules do propose cracking down on parking and staging on sidewalks. It would require all scooters be left in the city designated corrals, which are those white rectangles painted on the ground. By making it one specific rule of parking in a corral, will make it much more predictable and user friendly for the users in San Diego. One person we spoke to agreed. Yeah, parking them on the streets or having designated areas for these scooters to be parked, I think that's great. Um, you definitely don't want them on the sidewalk. The new rules would give companies one hour to respond after being notified that their scooters are parked on the sidewalk. And if they don't take care of it, the scooters could be impounded, with the companies also paying a fine. Jonathan Freeman from the citizens group Safe Walkways wants to see the city back up these new rules with some real enforcement. Without the city putting resources behind education, monitoring enforcement, the rules themselves will be meaningless. The new rules will likely go before the full city council sometime this month. Working for you, I'm Brian White for CBS 8. And don't forget, here at CBS 8, we are working for you. If there's a story you'd like us to look into, just email us at yourstories at cbs8.com.